Buildbox, the game engine with where you can create video games without any line of code. And now Buildbox 4 is out and with Buildbox 4 you can create codeless video games with AI and you can also create all the game assets with AI. At first let's have a look at the different plans how we can get Buildbox 4. There is a beginner plan and this beginner plan you can get for three hundred for three dollars ninety nine per week built weekly and it has a five day free trial. It has a Windows client at the moment. Buildbox 4 is only available for Windows and not for iOS. Okay, you can make 3D games with it. You have unlimited worlds and scenes included, unlimited PC exports. You get 50 AI tokens per week, AI assistant, preview mode, customizable Buildbox splash screen. That means that you can uh, delete the Buildbox branding. You can use your own branding there and you will keep 100% of the sales revenue. Then we got a basic plan, build yearly as 180 euro, it's like uh, 346 per week. And the thing, different thing is here, you got 200 AI tokens per month, you can export it to PC. And then the pro plan, build yearly, with 300 USD, it's like 577 per week. And here you get 350 AI tokens per month. You have an AI assistant, AI code edit, and an advanced placement tools. And then the ultimate bundle for 11.55.54 per week, build yearly as 600 USD and it included also the Buildbox Classic Pro, Buildbox 4 Pro and Soundbox. And then to start your free trial just click here. And then you can get one license seat here, I can change it into two. You can see two weeks it changed the price here. And here, give your email, your payment details, country, where you're from. And then you see here, the weekly plan. You see everything that I showed you before. One seat. And today, total today, zero. Because you get the free trial. And I can see here nothing to pay for the first five days. The first payment of 3.99 USD will be deducted on April 18, 2024. Subsequent payments will be taken weekly. You can cancel at any time. Okay. And if you got Billbox open, then it looks like that. In the bottom you have these buttons here can publish your game on Steam. You find a complete guide here. And then here you get the Buildbox 4 AI developer block. Very interesting if you need some help from other guys. And then click here on this empty 3D game. So you can see here some instructions how to use the, how to navigate into the scene. Now welcome to Buildbox 4 AI first game creator. Take a quick look around to learn the basics. Look, this is the tabs panel. This is the home screen, the map presentations of all the worlds and screens in your game and world editors here. You got the scenes here, you can add new scenes. And this is the attributes panel. You can modify the properties of your selected object and modify area with AI. Select a part of your world and write a request for AI to add or modify objects here. This is the edit object with AI and AI assistant, ask it to create worlds, add objects, add game, logic and much more. Try the following examples, create a campfire scene 
in woods, create underwater world, add 8 trees in a circle, make character jump on click, really cool. Okay, now let's play around a little bit. Now we have uh, selected the character here. And here, have a look. You can change the character into a girl, a boy, a bike. Is the bike? Oh, yeah. Racing car, army tanker. Really cool. Monster truck. Ship. Fighter jet. Spaceship. Helicopter. Or a submarine. I think we leave it as a boy. Now the collision group is character. Or you can also change it into enemy, platform coin. Fixed dynamic. Affected assets, all. Character enemy platform, yes. This is something similar, like <clears throat> if you already know how to use build box, you can find some tutorials on my other channel where I explained how to use build box. Now we can go to the player here, to the preview, and let's have a look how to play the game, how it is at the moment. We got the iPhone 8 U. I think that is okay to... See how it works then. See the character walks and can jump. And the space bar. Now let's play around a little bit. Say create a jungle scene in the night. Okay. Make some palm trees. Cool. Very small, you can see that at the moment they didn't have any physics, any collision. But it looks nice, I like it. Static. If 
selected a set the character give it another try I can see here the character collides with the palm only the big one when I add the collision here on this small palms then if you can jump high enough then he can jump on it fuck that assets the character and now give it a try see he collides with the palm He can't jump high enough because he can't see that. But if he can jump much higher, if we can change that, then he can sit on the palm. Make a zombie. Now create this zombie and as an enemy. Okay, something strange has happened here now, because this is not what we want, maybe because the world was selected before, but you can see this is the zombie. I don't know why he, the engine now changed all the world. that assets the character but to understand how it works it really needs a little bit to play around and to learn because it is not clear yet uh, let's say now make the zombie walk around you can change the camera view for example here the position from x y z and here also the rotation and the scale. Let's change the. See, ah, this is not what I want now. Change the position from the zombie. But okay. Where's the camera? This is the camera. At first we have to select the camera, of course. Go to camera view. And give it another try. I find the assets really cool, the palms. Looks great. Now you can see that when we play in the game now, the camera view has changed. But the zombie isn't walk around. The collision also doesn't work anymore. It's 
the first time for me also to try out BuildBox 4. In my other YouTube channel I show how to use BuildBox Classic and I'm sure you can learn some basics there. Just have a look and then you can use them here in BuildBox 4. But what uh, depends the AI that I have to check it out because it's also my first time now here and uh, I never tried it before. And one last thing. You saw that the, 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 the zombie is walking around here, but just a little bit. Still have to find out how to do that. He's still walking around, but now collision still doesn't work and there is no rain. What does that make it rain? A set got an unexpected keyword argument notes please give the AI an opportunity to rest and learn from its mistakes before trying your request again okay it definitely needs to play around a little bit with buildbox 4 to learn and check it out I will also contact the support or we'll have a look at the community at the AI dev forum and let's see how to use it and maybe there yeah, are some some bugs they have to fix at first but okay I think the idea behind BuildBox 4 is great and absolutely amazing but all the new technologies need some time and improvement I will keep you up to date if you found this tutorial was I will keep you up to date. If you found this tutorial was helpful then give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then see you soon. Bye.